youtube tuesday from barnabas junction brought to you in association with the model railway youtube community group um ah like mrycg connecting the model railway community together you can find us on facebook instagram twitter and youtube just search for um ah mrycg Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Barnabas Junction's YouTube Tuesday. And yes, I'm down in the room again. It's freezing up there tonight. So, uh, and we've got a bit of talking to do about the Hornby 2022 range. So, I needed the big, powerful computer to do all the work for me tonight. So, yes, we're downstairs in the Oton studio again, but we'll hopefully be back up there in the layout room as it was on Sunday. I think it was. I did a quick running session live stream in there so if you haven't seen that go check it out um we did successfully manage to run some new trains and rolling stock in my last video well, my first running session of 2022 but we're not here for that we're here for youtube tuesday today so a huge thank you to everybody that's joining me but first of all before we say hello to everybody else we need to do this so a big thank you as always to everyone that is a channel member helping to support the channel in every way it does uh those names are all that do currently support the channel links to their channels are in can be found in the description below please do check them out and give them some thumbs up some likes and uh, let you know that uh, you're going to you you've come across their channels if you aren't subscribed to them already after hearing about them here on the youtube tuesday show with barnabas junction so huge thank you to all of those channel members supporters uh, helping to bring the channel to what it is today so yes, thank you very much. There's a big list there ever going. If you want to be a channel member, then there is an, op an option on the channel to do so. Just click the link and choose your membership level that you wish to so help to support the channel. And uh, obviously the moderator will be po posting in links throughout the show uh, if you want to uh, be reminded on how you can join to be a channel member supporter let's have a look in the channel in the chat then of everybody that's here today um right so i've got another screen up here because ipads don't my ipad won't work for youtube anymore so i've got a, you know, another laptop so i'm using three screens actually um with two computers three screens so let's have a look at who's in the chat so let me change sure that first of all chat is selected for live and let's scroll to the beginning who was first in yes simon, simon strains model railway showcase he was in about 30 minutes before the show began saying this should be an inspiring show this evening yes that's because we're going to be talking about the all new hornby 2022 range that was announced just a few days ago 
Arthur Humphreys, good evening to you. Flymo Chairman One is in. Good evening. Thank you, Flymo. Uh, Eagle Creek Yard, Ben. Good evening, Ben. Thanks for joining. He says early for once. Yes, yeah. David Cook, good evening. Uh, Clive Cabal, good evening. The Train Freak, Jason over the pond. Good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Digger Evans is in. Uh, Donegal Dad, hello, Donegal. Mark, thanks for joining us. Simon, the railway enthusiast, 83, is in. Uh, saying he's uh, fortunately lost his Royal Mail Christmas job, but he's looking for another job. Fingers crossed. Good luck for that then. Uh, all the best, Simon. I hope you can get yourself one. Oswald Street Road TMD is in. Uh, the Growler is in. Blackwood Engage layout. Good evening, the Growler. Thanks for joining us. Mike Pringle is in. Timbers in. Good evening you, to you too. Matthew Whitmore's in. Mr. Matthews, good evening to you. New name to join us in the show tonight. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're going to be enjoying it. If you do, please do subscribe and give it some thumbs up. Uh, Jeff Reeman, Jumble Rain Model Railway is in. Good evening, Jeff. Hope you are well, my friend. Um, who else have we got in? Just give a shout out to uh, my first time. View in fact, Mr. Matthews is saying first time viewing this channel. Looking good so far. Not sure how I've missed it. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I've been the channel's been going for nearly five years. Would you believe it? Uh, Craig's Hobbies and Trains. Hi all. Hope everyone's good. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Marsh West Junction TMD, Northern Rails 44, hello to you both, uh, thanks for joining us, Main Train Eastport, good evening Mark, also to you, so everybody else is saying hello to one another, right, so um, if you're new then to the show and you've not seen this the, the, this each week, what we do is we do um, something completely random, we can be doing some running sessions, we can do in um kit building cat scenic stuff like that check out we are in series five and we're in episode eight so it has been going for some time so please do have a look back after the tonight show at ones you may have missed i've done some really really interesting ones some not so interesting ones and lots of um lots of scenery during 2021 as those that you are regular followers to the show uh, have seen so uh, yeah check it out if you do like it please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up um just seeing another name pop up that's in the chat i need to just refresh that uh where have they gone um it was jeff hammond flint hills model railway good evening jeff thanks for joining us there it is just appeared on my screen uh so thank you for all for joining me so um, i know you're all eager probably to uh have your say well, I want you to have your say um, as well on this range because I've got a few things to say. And I'm going to, tr going to try and get through as much of it as possible this during the show because uh, there has been a lot. Um, also, good evening to Upwell, or uh, morning probably, Upwell and onwards. Happy New Year. He's saying that's Aaron from over in New Zealand. Yes, Happy New Year to you. Hope you're all doing well, Mark. Um, Aaron. Right. Okay, so with this, what we do each each show, we have three shout outs uh, given out per, per show. Uh, I do have all three ready to roll this evening. So uh, my moderator fly mode does have those links ready. So we'll be getting on with those very shortly. And we also have modelers moment where you, the modeler, um, you don't need to have a channel. You don't need to have a social media page featured on your model railway. You may just be somebody that has a layout or does some modeling, and you basically want to have that showcased somewhere across. And what better place than here on my show and get involved on Modeler's Moments? All you have to do to be on that is email me, barnabasjunction at gmail.com, with some photographs or a show and or some short video clips and you will feature in Modeler's Moment. That comes up towards the end of the show and we do have one for tonight. So uh, for, look forward for that. And uh, I do know that person is actually in the chat and he will probably know he is tonight's Modeler's Moment. So more on that a little later on. But what we're going to do first is get on with the very first shout out. Yes, and the 
Oh, excuse me, choking me on there. So yes, the very first shout out tonight, and it has already been chosen, and my moderator, Flymo Chairman One, does have the links ready to roll. Now I've decided to give. I think this channel may have had one or two shout outs in the past, but I wanted to do this one specially um, because. This chap who has this model railway has just dismantled it because he is moving from his garage layout to a loft layout in a new premises. And so tonight's first shout out on the show goes to Hemeldown Model Railway. So well, the link will be getting posted very shortly by Flymo or for that channel. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because he's, um, when I last looked, it was yeah, last night, um, he was on just under 400, under 400 subscribers, so easily we would like to get him over 400 tonight. But he really does need some um, inspiration in his new layout building. And it, it was quite heartbreaking for him and for those that were viewing his last video, which he published, I think it was yesterday afternoon, of the dismantling of his layout. So yes, um, it's Hemeldown Model Railway. He does need a little bit of encouragement and he was he's interested to know what you think about bits on his new layout that he's going to be building. He's also got on offer a few little uh, freebies if anybody was interested in grabbing some. So please do check out his channel. If you do like what you see, if you do like the channel and you uh, are interested in what's coming in the future, then please do subscribe to the channel. Remember, when you do subscribe, you need to interact. So the best way to interact is go on his latest video and drop a comment. And just basically, um, easiest comment is uh, just say hi. So you come to the channel and subscribe after hearing about him on here on the YouTube Tuesday from Barnabas Junction. And there we go, Flymo has posted the link. Thank you very much, Flymo. So yes, definitely worth checking out. And as Simon Railway Enthusiast 83 has just said, Mark's channel is amazing. I've already subscribed to his channel. Indeed, fantastic. I've been subscribed for quite some time, actually. One of his early subscribers to the channel. So it's great to see that uh, it's going to be a new development and it's going to be an interesting one. I know he's got quite a lot of interesting plans for the new layouts. He is going to be hopefully... Uh, reusing a lot of the previous products track etc from these old layout that is just dismantled and uh, we look forward to seeing them in the new layout that's coming soon so subscribe to the channel and follow in on his journey so um first thing then i want to do is because this is um a basically a show where i want to hear uh, from you good evening to martin Bertalan, who's just joined us, thank you. And Northern's just said he has just hit 400 subscribers. Well done, everybody. Thank you, indeed. We'll keep an eye on the subscriber numbers very shortly. So I'm posting in the chat a link for you, you, to come and join me live on this stream and have your say and discuss the 2020 range by Hornby with me. And let me know what you, any particular things that do take your eye or anything you've got to think about, um, what your your thoughts on some of the stuff. And we'll have a look at those particular items as we're going through. Good evening to Dinmore Junction and Newland Railway, just joining in. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Right, <clears throat> so I'm going to bring up on the screen now. There we go. It is the 2022 range on the Hornby website. One thing I will say is well done to Hornby for fixing their website that it did not crash now did it not crash because not many people have a look at it or did it not crash because it's a better website than they used to have me i think it's the latter so well done to hornby on achieving that so let's bring that into full screen for the moment right so here we have the hornby 2022 range let's hear your thoughts in the chat right now overall what you think of this range me i've got my opinions on some of the stuff they are my opinion only uh, my personal opinion and i will be telling you about those as we go through but what i want to do is i'm, I'm, I'm well if we went through every single thing in this 2022 range we'd probably be here at midnight so we're, we're, we're going to briefly go over it and pick out the odd few things um from it that really stand out for maybe for 
particular people that are here in the chat. So um, for myself, it might be uh, some. Uh, well, there is. I, I, I'll, I'm actually going to come to those in a moment, but so I'm not going to give any information away too much. Uh, yeah, Eagle Creek said there was nothing American. Indeed, that it was. Uh, March West Junction saying expensive. Uh, David Cook, Hornby are insulting us all with these price hikes. I have had enough. No more playing their game. Uh, and XMG12 saying good evening to Flymo. Um, Upwell and onwards saying my bank account already had a heart attack. Uh, Oswald Street Road TMD is saying nothing aimed at me. Sorry, so no new Western items. <clears throat> Dinmore says, always pleased about the Class 50s. Now, I want to talk about the Class 50s briefly as well. Um, Simon says, how are I am... Sh oh, you had said something about the website, actually. Home the website was a bit slow yesterday at the time, but it held up. Uh, or uh, he says... Where have I just read it, seen it, actually, in the chat? Um, he says, uh, it didn't crash because they changed the time of releasing the range. Yes, I was aware of that. The website, I think, went live about two to three hours actually before the video of the uh, announcements was published whether that was to to try and uh, help people out we'll have to wait and see uh, simon says however i'm shocked on the greater angular class 755 flirts announced yeah that was quite interesting when i first saw that i, I was actually hoping it was the class 175 but unfortunately it wasn't uh, Newland says, haven't looked as I'm not paying their prices for second-rate quality. Well, I will, some places I will agree on some of the quality of the plastics that they use for sure. Um, it is a bit iffy. Uh, sounds as though Hornby have upset people with their prices change. Yes, I agree with that. Regarding Hornby, this is from Jeff Hammond. I'm gobsmacked the prices around the Azuma 800. Kato in Engage is 200. I I don't know how Hornby price it's at 500. Yes, I do agree on that. Uh, Jason, the departmental one K, what Mark one coaches are an interest to me, says Clive. Uh, we should not stand for it, says David. Indeed, I do agree. Very expensive. Uh, and I've heard the new Airfix range is terrible, says Digger. Oh, I've not heard about that. Oi, oi, says the scrap line. Great to have you here. Uh, the class 92 was last Hornby I've I'm ever buying. Sorry, Hornby, says uh, Mark the main train. Apparently, there was one American outline by Hornby, apparently, as I didn't, but well, I didn't see it myself, says Flymo. Hmm. Oh, so I'll, I'll have to have a look. Everyone's saying hi to uh, uh, Tim of Scrapline. Uh, just scrolling, keeping up with the chat. Right. Okay, dokie. So let's get into this range. So if anybody wants to join and have their say here live on the stream, then remember you can do so. There is the link to come and join me live in the stream again. And uh, if anyone wants to click on that, please do come and join me. Uh, check out Big Clive's la late, latest video for the atomizer, atomizer that was new Airwix use. Same, same ultrasound steam. Apparently, the new Airfix range is made in India with inferior materials. My friend has got a 1 in 24 Spitfire and said it doesn't even fit together properly. Oh, dear. Uh, well, and onwards for the full LAR coronation, I'm looking at a thousand New Zealand dollars. Barnabas Junction, what's your opinion about certain loco between Rapido and Hornby? Yes, I was made aware of that. I have seen it. And I, I, it takes me back to the time between Hornby and Hattons and the, well, the uh, Batman and Hattons and the Hornby and Rails. It's a bit of a tough situation to be in, but it's something we're going to have to wait and see um hornby have kind of been a bit clever we could say but we'll have to let um the officials make their make the official opinion on all that though so i'm sure we'll see further developments come on that but me it's a tricky one isn't it we'll have to wait and see i think it's a bit a little bit of a slap on the wrist um but yeah We'll have to wait and see. There's a lot, there's a very fine line regarding uh, all the different manufacturers on their particular stuff, um, copying because you, you've got manufacturers releasing 37s galore, you've got HST galore, all different manufacturers doing same products. 66s is obviously a big one that was uh, in the 
in the uh, news over the past couple of day, years. Um, but yeah, mm. TPE is really striking a chord on me. That's that's my biggest gripe on it all. But anyway, let's have a look. Um, yes, the Rapidos video was excellent regarding the tip build range. Yes, I do agree, and they're very. I will give them the benefit of the doubt they were very professional about that that was something that struck a chord with me so let's have a look at this range we're going to go full in straight in and view all products okie dokie so we've obviously got categories um with this layout of this new website so you, instead of actually having to look through the entire website you can actually look at these categories in a better order so what we're going to do is we're going to there's certain stuff in here that I think we could pr primarily ignore because it's same thing all the time. So we're going to focus on particular um, categories in this. And we're going to start with train sets and train packs. So straight away, then uh, we look at the Triang Railways. Yes, it is the 70th, is it 75th anniversary or 70th? I can't quite remember now of the Triang Railways, obviously Triang were its company in itself before Hornby took it over and bought it out and then it became Hornby Triang Railways. So yes, they are doing a remembrance set, the uh, Victoria train set. Is that something of interest for all, us? Me, I'm not a big steam fan, so it's not something that um, I would be particularly looking at. Um, We'll have to wait and see. Not surprised the Locomotive Services Limited HST is is there. Yes, um, we're coming on that. Um, but straight away, at me, I'm more, I'm gonna. Oh, I've just noticed something. Have they fixed something? I think Hornby have been messing around with this website because I've just noticed something straight away that they fixed. I think. Um, I'm just scrolling. No, they haven't, actually. No, they haven't. <laughs> they, there's a few mistakes on this. I can see one One is this. Yes, the 800 set. That is terrible, in my opinion. The price of that has skyrocketed. And I was after the TPE version, but I definitely won't be having it at that price totally out of my pocket that is for the serious enthusiast now these prices are going way beyond people's in my opinion people's affordability there is things in this that people can obviously afford but for me that's totally me out of the me out of the modeling me out of the hobby if i that to put it this way that's two months of my mortgage there now, I can't justify the costs that that Class 800 costs. No way. Absolutely no way. I would, if I, if I, I personally, financially, it's impossible. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Uh, just looking at what everyone's saying about Triang. Triang bought Hornby. Oh, in that case, Simon Kohler got it wrong. Hornby bought, he said that Hornby bought Triang. I always believed it was Hornby that bought Triang. Ah. Uh, Triang, I still have my Triang models from when I was a kid. Well done, Jeff. Uh, 50 years for Hornby Railways this year. It is, yes, because I've seen the I've seen the truck actually, the 50 years uh, box fan actually. The growl at my first train set was the Triang Freightmaster 31 and 7 wagons oval on the track and a power controller. I want to come on train packs on the products, the amount of products you get now, um, because I remember something some time ago, and I'm going to see if I can find a picture. Um, looking at everybody else, right? Okie dokie. So, moving, I say, I'm going to go through this as quick as possible. So, please feel free if you see something I do miss, please do comment in the chat um with what you think so fine was just said i fancy the black 08 they have but it's 185 so no sorry yes that's the uh i've seen that uh we might pop that in a minute but yes class 800 since when has that been steam 
Anyone notice that? Since when has a uh, bi-mode electric diesel train been registered as steam? I'm circling it there. The need to um, get this sorted out. This is a little tiny, well, not a little tiny, it's quite a big oversight on their web developers or their web inputters that they really, if they can't get categories right on their website for their models, how can they be expected to get their models right? What do you think about that? Because that's not the only place to do it. If you look down at here at the HSTs, they've got them, right? Diesels, diesel, diesel. Unless you look at this one, the Castle Train Pack. Since when has a HST been a steam train? Ah, poor, 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 in my opinion. It's a boo-boo, but it's not the only one. There is quite a lot of boo-boos in this, and that is a poor one when it wants to you coming along and uh, want to show yourself as very professional and you make little errors like that people will pick up on it uh, i'd love to have lion but not paying 230 for it says simon um hornby heading to be the rich man's manufacturer only yes i do i thought back some time ago that batman were doing that but it seems to me that hornby of jump from a to c and skipped out b with their pricing all right i know costs have gone up i understand that but from my opinion i think the costs are have just they've escalated at too much of a rapid pace um yes uh simon's in the castle hst mixed up with the castle steam loco could quite well be the cost of production, cost of construction, yes, it has gone up. Um, that, obviously, you've got shipping container costs, all that, all the material costs have all gone up. Is it time? I'll, I'll throw this out there now. Is it time that these manufacturers started listening to the people that want to buy the products and bring the products home, bring the manufacturing home? isn't it not cheaper now to produce this stock at home obviously it would mean a massive massive drive for people with the same skill sets that produce well we could say that produce these because some of them is not particularly 100 percent perfect a big drive for um skills to be developed here in the country in this country but in doing so, would that mean lower costs? It's something we really got to look into. So good evening to uh, new people joining the stream tonight. Uh, Spark Shot, good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm done with modern, let's bring that up on the screen. I'm done with modern, ready to roll, priced out. Uh, I just buy second, old second hand stuff, missed out on as a nipper. Seems Holby are raising prices more than others. Is suspect. Look at the Oxford Rails, for example. Indeed, so. Thank you for joining us, uh, Spark Shop. Um, thank you for your input. Uh, Graham Kettering Junction, the cost of construction, yes, saying it's gone up. Thank you, Graham, for joining us. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just saying, Penrith Road, the 800 and the HST should be two motors. That's a good point, actually, Penrith. I'll agree on that because, and also, we'll, we'll, we'll go on to the point of the Pendolino set single motor single bogeyed motor come on these for these prices we should be getting um twin motors uh, or even twin axle drive that's something yeah i rarely think is a good point i like that yeah thank you for highlighting that um a, a chat is shooting through so fast yes stop making limited editions these are hiking up the prices yes indeed jeff it is um yeah that's right hornby has a vast amount of empty manufacturing space at the mark eight site yeah i do brickton good evening how are you thanks for joining us main train esport shipping is only one percent of the build cost mm, interesting so it's not making a massive difference then over the price so where is the price hike coming from because 
don't know what you guys think about the the plastics that they use now i think the plastic quality of the plastic is downright uh unsuperior it's terrible because you're getting this light bleed and stuff like that the, i've seen more this is becoming more and more apparent with these models that are coming out to this day just what look at the, the, the hornby show look at the, they they even admitted on the hornby show recently on um tv that their models have got a severe issue with light bleed so come on they're, they're admitting they know about this problem but they don't really they're not doing anything really about it are these new models gonna be suffering the same demise of everything else that's recently been coming out Alan Reynolds, hi Jason. I am scratch building a 450 millimeter wall section for tomorrow's layout working. So hi all. Regards, Alan Reynolds, in to everyone in chat. Quite a few mistakes on the website concerning the locos. Newland saying not as high as they make out. The MD of the Cora scale said they have not, nor plan to up the costs of the Delta, and that project is three years old. Nor are they hiking anything for the 2022 range. It see so yeah it's quite interesting sapphire junction welcome to tonight's stream i must be honest hobby i've lost the plot with the current day modelers on price up-to-date tooling and allocation of products i.e the drax wagon debacle yeah i know that what was it 80 80 eight, was it 80 quid or 88 quid for one wagon sorry that is just diabolical um everyone's saying hello to another um coca-cola bottle on a well wagon hornby ran out of ideas i i'll give i, I like the coca-cola range i do actually have a lot of it um it's something i might look at but uh, the bottle on a wagon is kind of like going back towards the kid to attract the kiddies but it, it's encouraging people it's 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 product placement at the end of the day it's only there for a reason um they're but in my opinion what i think hornby have done is they've jumped on the bandwagon of the the world's biggest soft drinks manufacturer to help boost their upkeep on product being sold my opinion what do you guys think um and a lot of car manufacturers have machines ideal waiting on chips some say, say machines could be used for manufacturing trains yes St. Mary's Church Model Railway, hello to you. Thanks for, and everyone in chat. Darling Butter Model Railway, hello to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, giant Coca-Cola bottle is, what's this? Giant Coca-Cola bottle is more of an idea to get people not interested into trains into the hobby. Well, yeah, there is that as well. Um, Bangkok New Junction, Carl, thanks for joining us. Um, I'm just trying to keep up with the chats. Everyone's saying hello again to each other. Uh, March West knows all about the light bleed. Yes, he does, especially with DVT. Um, and everyone's saying, Francis Donnelly, Brendan, hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. I hope you've got some comments and thoughts on this new product range. We'll get on with that in a moment. Uh, just trying to keep up with the chat. It's going absolutely mental. So, but thank you, everybody. Yeah, scrap line. Sadly. The price of new stuff does drive up the price of second hand market as well. It will have a knock on effect. I agree on that. Uh, good evening, Brian of Finiton. So let's move on. So we've got the train packs. Train packs, quite good. The price of those have not really risen, I don't think, of the train packs. What do you think? Um, but I don't want to actually bring this one up because uh, I want to. Uh, just highlight something about these train packs and it's this particular picture is what I'm interested in now back when I were a kid and I was interested in model railways from my younger younger years um, does anyone remember um, the rail freight uh, train set with the class 58 can anyone remember how many wagons you used to get in that set well, I do, and it was eight. You used to get eight wagons of all various different... Uh, yeah, that's right, it was the um, mixed rail freight, that was it, mixed rail freight with Class 58. You got eight wagons with that, I believe it was. You're getting three with this now. 
So not only the price has only gone up a little bit compared to what it was back in I think they were about uh, about one twenty back then. So the price has gone up seventy pound in a considerable amount of years. I'm not going to say how many, but the products you get have dropped. So you're not getting like the seven eight wagons anymore. But you're only getting like what one two a tanker, a container flat with some containers on, and uh, yeah. And a horrible red one so we'll ignore what brand in the, the train is but uh yeah. <laughs> yeah what do you think we're getting less for more money what we used to yeah right the products have improved but one thing was stated in the announcement this train is the railroad range so it is a basic lean x lima tooling and these will be lima tooling wagons as well it won't be the Hornby tooling because it's not. It'll be a railroad plus or even higher. It is the re, the re, it is the old Lima tooling. So you're getting l less for your bucks, basically. Interesting thought. What are your thoughts on that? Less for your money, but paying a lot more. Their way of probably trying to keep the price down a little bit. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. Um, so getting back to the train packs. Interesting one from the HST range is the Rail Adventure one. Certainly not a livery I'm a fan of. Um, I'll catch up with the chat in a moment. The quality of the plastic is not great, says Francis Donnelly. Brendan, indeed, I agree. That is one I totally agree with, and I've thought that for quite some time, um, especially when I saw the quality of the, the um, 800s in the uh, Hitachi livery that I, I had here once. I had a look at that, but yeah. Did not was not a fan of the quality of the plastic. Mick Lowe, good evening. Evening, folks. Just recovering after seeing the new Hornby price list. Yeah, I'm really trying to recover over the, the price of the uh, TPE 800. I was stunned. So scrolling back through, you've got the little starter set, the Network Traveller train. Two versions of that. You've got the EU version and the standard version. Mm, not bad. Let's have a look. What do you get for your money? 120 119.99 what'd you get for your money a little 040 and three tank three wagons well two a couple of wagons and a tanker again lima tooling probably on them products won't be the hornby tooling i doubt it so mm, is it worth it <clears throat> don't know it's good for getting the new modeler into the hobby but then they hook you on with the big more expensive prices first radius track two mm, yeah interesting stuff let me know your thoughts <clears throat> excuse me have a quick drink uh, what time are we on now 38 minutes we're coming up for the next shout out of the show well, we're not even through the first page so i'll just crack open another drink mm -mm. Brian's just said there, 40 quid second hand for the same set. Indeed. Pick up those in that traveller set for about 40 quid second hand. So that's all your train packs. The Mallard one, yeah, I think, let's have a quick look at that. There's two versions of that must be as well, because that's an EU edition. Don't know what the difference is between the EU edition and the standard. Yeah. I thought, why have they got an EU edition? Hmm. Is it because of the controller power? I'm not sure. What'd you get in this? Well, you got the Mallard and you get three coaches, and apparently it was uh, discovered that that is those coaches are Lima tooled coaches in this set. What about the loco? Is it a Hornby loco or is it a Lima loco? Two thirty six ninety nine. Mm, this no. What do you think? Didn't know re, uh, re railers were so expensive. <laughs> Let's have a look at the specs actually. Hmm. It's a reproduction of current locomotive that they've got, but uh, Lima tooling. I'm gonna admit, some of the Lima tooling is absolutely amazing. I've got some Lima products, and they're far superior than the uh, Hornby products are to this day. Um, so let's get back to it. Let's have a look then at the next in the range that was train packs. Something certainly out of my range. Let's have a look at the locomotives now. So, 
let's see if we get any steam locomotives registered as diesels. That's something that's going to be a laugh at. So, as I've said, um, I'm not a big steam fan. I do like steam, but I'm not a collector of steam. Um, now, I do believe there is an error on here. And we're going to look to see if it's been corrected. And I think it's on this one. It was highlighted on social media yesterday. Uh, it's in the description, apparently. Down here. It's been fixed. It's been fixed. I'm just going to check, go back to the other one. Bring that come on back to locomotives. I just this is this I need to look at because it might be on this one. Let's have a look when it comes up. The site's getting a bit slow. Let's just double check before we go back. No, it looks like they fixed it. Yes, they have fixed their big error on the Black Fives. Yesterday, do I also we just mentioned about diesels being lifted, uh, listed as steam, steam being listed as diesel. This Black Five yesterday, <laughs> this is terrible. This was I don't know who thought this, but it's the Black Five. It's a it's a four six zero oh, right. Down at the bottom down here, see where it says 460 wheel configuration. Apparently, <clears throat> that said 28, uh, no, yeah, 280 oh, or 26, uh, 282, it said. That was right. It was saying 282 wheel configuration, and it was picked up. Uh, but it looks to me like Hornby has since fixed that one, but I think they need to go over and fix the rest. So the Black 5, it is. I've, I've, the Black Five is um, a tremendous locomotive. I've, I have seen one in person. Is it something for yourselves? Are you a steam lover out there? Is that something that you're going to be looking at getting yourself? So let's have a look then through the locomotives. Just give it a refresh. There we go. So, yeah, a lot of steam as always. A lot of it's reproductions of what they've already got. A quick drink. So for me, I'm I would it's something I would skip through. Uh, Simon says the Black Five are lovely locomotives. They are indeed. We got um, Class Ninety One Bobo Battle of Britain for one two twenty three ninety nine for one Steam two thirty prices are seriously jumping up. The LNER Flying Scotsman. I'm just keeping an eye on these because I'm looking whether these are so registered right. Look so far like they are. 66 uh, DB Cargo Class 66 Coco in the Climate Hero livery. Now I missed that one out, but that's something to notice. Why is that now? That is now a £20 increase on their original release on their 66 Railroad range. Anyone realise that one? They well, it's more than twenty pound. They were seventy four ninety nine. What mm, eighteen months ago? Because if you remember, they had uh, this uh, Tom Moore one that was seventy four ninety nine. They're now ninety six ninety nine. So the railroad range has taken a big jump in the prices. Um, it's now putting the younger generation, which was what they were aimed at starting to put them out of pocket because they're getting close to what the likes of um, a Batman Class 66. They were like, you could pick a Batman 66. Oh, you can, I know you can pick a Batman 37 up for 130 quid. So what would you go for? A Hornby Railroad 66 or a Batman one for a few quid more? If you're going to be spending close to 100 pounds, you go for the, you wouldn't go for a railroad range in my opinion. Um, keep on looking through, and there we have the first novelty one, the Coca Cola One Two One. What do you think? What are people? All right, they've got the Coca Cola range, guys. Come on, but on a One Twenty One, 
no no sorry that does not if you are purely going out of your way and having a a full coca-cola based layout nothing else then yeah suppose it fits in but what do you think guys if you want to come and talk to me live on the stream and tell us what you think about these products and there's the link again come and join live on the stream and we'll uh, have a chat together but let us know is it is it going beyond the hobby because i i i do i, th I think it's a, a, it's a bit uncalled for i think that particular model but someone will buy it i'm sure will um the collectors will go for it uh brian there said bring the manufacturing back to the uk indeed um and it will not have a retail discount as it's a web exclusive yeah that's another thing web exclusives for hornby's website will not be available in the retailers yeah i agree um railroad range stuff is now is too expensive and those tooling date back to lima days and lima were great value yes the railroad range is lima tooling it's what they've used they've reused they've relabeled the lima tooling uh as the railroad range it is if you open up the the railroad 66s it is all the lima tooling with uh, traction ties and all that lot still are you live sorry i crossed over into your time no worries charlie yes i am live we are here um no problem donegal's got a head off thanks for joining us i like the coca-cola 121 but as i don't think they'll sell i'll pick up a cheap chassis for my lima 117 yeah i don't think they're gonna sell to be honest i think they're gonna end up being a a few and then they'll see them uh, what's next red bull 67 yeah very possibly i don't think um, that's something that's annoying me on this website when you back up it goes back to that uh so yeah a red bull 67 there uh, so i don't think they're gonna really take now um this one's of interest to me um i've heard someone mentioned about the class 50 exeter now tim is this something you would be looking at or are you going to stick with what you've got because i have heard that Hornby have got the colour. No, I've got things completely wrong with this. Um, I'm going to see if I can zoom in, if it'll let me. Yes. So if we zoom in, if it'll let me zoom in anymore. No, it won't let me zoom anymore. Uh, apparently, this particular Class 50 did not have black window frames. So somewhere along the line, they have not check it checked out yes scrap line top there we go as uh he says nope that's fine we're saying hello uh there we go totally incorrect you are the ma you are the master of nse and you, you're right it's wrong um i'm aware definitely of the the windows the window frames um they should not be black apparently uh bernard Stuart bernard thank you for joining us um is there anything else amongst that tim that you know that's wrong um be interesting and it's missing the wide white line at the roof line oh right so here there should be a wide white line at take it is ah black window frames oh god the horror yep should not have black window frames should it have the orange content well from what scrap scrap line saying it should have a solid white line at the root on the roof line so does that mean the the cantail strip should it be in replacement of that or just below it it's the 20 percent future height coming across the board So yeah, interesting error. They've basically just got an old model and just re-added extra detail to it. Uh, now that's an amateur mistake that they've made. Yeah, 
that this is a lot of this happening. I personally, if I was after NSC 50, right, and I was going to Hornby to get that, I would, and I was a stickler for correctness, I'd, I'd turn around and say, no, forget it, because I would not be buying that to then have to alter it to make it look correct, which is what a lot of people are going to be screaming at. So, yes, and at a price tag of 223.99 for one locomotive, um does what does that come with let's have a look let's have a look it oh and it's only dcc ready so these are now these dcc ready locomotives are now at the same price as dcc fitted locomotives my euro phoenix batman 37 came sound fitted for less than this work that one out I paid less for the U Batman Euro Phoenix 37 sound fitted than that is DCC ready. That just shows. And that what? Two years. So in two years, the prices are just getting phenomenal. Getting really silly. So what do you think? Interesting stuff in it. Anyway, let's get on with the rest. We've got so much to be getting through. Oh refresh that okay, let's get back to the locomotives and notice this website does not hold your previous viewing location um that's no, right I've got two ticked what time are we on 51 uh, right so we'll get to the bottom of this page we're not even then we got the, the Triumph, class 5042. Another one, 223. What do you think? Um, 37s, Railroad 37, 96.99. Hmm. Heart of Wessex. Oh, I, I presume that's a railroad model, the class 31. Uh, Hartus uh, Wessex. Uh, yeah, these 96. This is the standard railroad range pricing. 96.99. They're all looking at the same now. Uh, the Green Progressor by GBRF. Uh, that again. All oh, right. Now, that Batman. That was released by Batman initially. Um Hornby have brought it out as a railroad model, $96.99. I do, the Batman model is very superior. I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore the APT because it's just not worth even talking about. Uh, the 08, there you go. Someone, Digger, you were mentioned, I think it was it Digger or Flymo was mentioning about the, the 08, the special BR class 08, 060. Here four in black. Simon. <laughs> I've just seen what Simon's bought. Nearly £200 for a Gronk. What the hell? Yes. My thoughts. Do any of them come in a nice monster delivery, says Darlington. <laughs> uh, do people not realise £60 or more cover railroad you can buy a cure scale uh, yeah indeed e exactly it's it's just <clears throat> they're pushing the lower budget range stock to the price of the premium range stock i think <laughs> craig what's this um don't want us to get anything. Don't come knocking on my door, Hornby. But if everybody stopped buying the products from the company, then surely they will have to do something about it. Yeah. But the, 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 the I'm, I'm talking from um, a point of a man of, uh, of a local stockist. That then in turn has a damaging effect on your local model shop because what they do is they rely on people either pre ordering from them or them. By getting the stuff in from Hornby on credit, 
to then sell in their shops to then pay Hornby what they've had. So if we stop doing that, that they, I think this is where the loophole is that they, they realize that if we if people stop doing that, they would actually destroy your local model shops because all the other products will not be able to maintain their cost to survive. So I agree with what you say. Uh, DB Silver, oh, I quite like that one. Didn't hear me say that, did you? <laughs> uh, 66, yeah, GB Rail Freight, Grey Silver, mm -hmm, not bad. Again, Railroad Range. Uh, I'm, I'm flicking through trying to, ooh, now I've just spotted one. Yeah. They've actually brought uh, the DRS 66, but that's not what that. I, I'm not going to. You could get a Batman or a Hattons one for a couple of, well, for 20 quid more. And that'll be a higher detail one. I certainly wouldn't want something with traction tyres <clears throat> for that price. Uh, NSC Railroad Edition. Again, wrong colours, maybe. That's quite nice, but yeah. Again, 185 for an 08. It's uh, damaging. So please let us know. As I'm flicking through, if there's any I've missed out there, obviously I'm not talking, mentioning everything because otherwise we'll be here till gone midnight. Um, if there's anything particular that uh, you want to shout out about, then uh, please do say so in the chat. Let us know. Yes, March. I agree with that. Infrastructure, yellow. That's one I've not come across before. Again, in the railroad. It's coming up as junior. What's that? Junior? I think that's diesel. That should be. Another error. In fact, there's a few there. Junior, again. The labelling on these. Junior, junior. Hmm. I'm waiting to see if someone can afford one. That's an interesting one. I'm waiting to see if someone can afford one, and then we'll get a feel for the quality. Yeah. So until someone buys these, then we're not going to know how good they really are. Don't websites shut down model shops? Uh, we should be all supporting our local model shops. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, indeed. Junior has a lot of money. <laughs> Uh, train freak this is all above my head at least i know how you all feel when i discuss the american models i think the american models are cheaper than these to be honest these days i know they were really take into the comparison of the price costs the american models will work out probably cheaper than these <clears throat> uh, they introduced a railroad 060 set and what came to screen was an 040 loco in the said set really oh right i agree however there's a lot of people out there that know hornby do trains they have done for years so they must be good they're trading on reputation not the products good point actually yes they're, they're trading on the name i uh, think looking back at pasts and people are thinking well it's hornby gotta be good so that's uh, a quick look at the locomotive section let's get on with so we'll just bring that off for let's take that off there for now so let's get on with the second show second shout out of the show tonight goes to a channel that's been following my channel for a while and i've been following him for a while as well and uh, I feel he deserves a shout out. He has been here in the chat in the past. I don't think I've seen him here tonight, but um, third, third shout out for the show tonight <clears throat> is for Simo D. And that's S I M O space D, the letter D. Simo D is the second shout out of the show tonight. Um, my moderator 
Plymo will be posting in the link very shortly for that channel. If you do like the channel, uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And remember to interact, otherwise YouTube will remove your subscription from channels you don't interact with after a few months. Uh, interact with the channel. Simply give it some thumbs up and give it some comments. Go on the latest video and say you heard about them all about their channel and subscribe after hearing them about them here on YouTube Tuesday with Barnabas Junction. Uh, main train. Okay, folks, I'm toasted now. It's nice to see you all. Good night. Thank you, Mark, for joining us. Um, hope you are well. Staying well, my friend. Um, we'll be getting on with the Hornby range. I say it's difficult to get on with this whole range. We're going to be going through as much as I possibly can for the end of the show tonight. Still got another shout out yet to come tonight. And don't forget, we've got Modeler's Moment. And that Modeler's Moment is here in the chat live tonight. So we're, we'll have to wait and see for him. Oh, Jason, everyone. Sorry, been busy. Says Moreland Model Railway. Andy, no problem. Andy, thanks for joining us. So let's get back to the range. Right. So we've looked at the train sets and train packs. We've looked at locomotives. Where should we go next? Well, let's go coaching right well for me personally straight away the coronation open thing imaging observation car and that i have no interest in that even in all to the building the elr step by step thanks for joining us uh, I reckon it's down to people starting a new hobby due to COVID and lockdown. So it's the big companies jumping on the price hike bandwagon. Remember the cost of the toilet paper two years ago? It's just unfair. <laughs> yeah, good point, Craig. Good point indeed. So this, for me, doesn't really doesn't strike a chord with me. What are you guys saying? Have any of you looking at this LNER coronation stock? Um Available summer 2022. Wonder that's another thing. Will these dates be honored? Because I've seen some stuff saying it's by coming now. Um, and I'm crikey, unavailable. Why is that? Is that because they're sold out already? Crikey. Uh six wheel coach by S and DJR. I know uh someone will probably have got those. Uh 3649 for six wheel coach. Mm, not bad, I suppose. Not bad, I suppose. I can't see prices. You don't need to see prices, Brian. <laughs> Moving further down to the more modern stock co coaching stock. Um, Charlie saying, got to go. Thanks, Charlie, for dropping in. Um, take care. I need to speak to you very soon. Coaches over a hundred pounds. I want a working loco for that price. Maybe it's my age. No, you're quite right. So that is not a coach. That is not the price for a coach. If you look, it says coach pack. Coach pack. Okay. So we'll do I'll actually bring that one up. And it's the same for the 800. It's a coach pack. They're releasing a coach pack um let's have a look what we get in the pack so um i'm reading as you're seeing it yourself um i'm not seeing how it doesn't actually say it doesn't actually physically say how many you get in the coach pack i presume it's four because there's four pictures so you get that one that one look the same that one obviously the coach numbers are different and that one yeah four coaches so hang on let's just, just do some mathematics all right so say say 265 okay 265 let's do some quick maths 265 divide that by four that's 66.25 a coach 66 pound 25 a coach okay four if if that's four coaches i presume it is four coaches in a train pack working out at 66 pounds 25 pence per pack it's bloody it's website again refresh is that fine is that it's, it's better than the drax price so uh, still not cheap but 
a little expensive still. Plus the fact that you've got uh, the old rail charter service Mark III, and I've just seen some uh, scrap line saying the retooled Mark III coaches are reasonable compared to the Batman coaches at least. Yes, and we obviously got that there, the what, 45 pounds. Web exclusive though only, again, which are driving up the prices. So yeah, 45 pounds for a retooled Mark III. Here we go with the Coca-Cola stuff again, general utility vehicle. Interesting thing would be is the Coca-Cola set comes with a little 040. You've obviously, to pull all this Coca-Cola fleet stuff, you've got to go out and buy the the rebrand, the, the branded Coca-Cola locomotives, which we'll come to in a bit as well. I've noticed they've not shown up yet. Uh, £30.45 for utility wagon. Nah, I don't say that's not too bad. Not too bad. Keep on going through. Let's keep let's keep pushing through so we can get through as much of this as we can during tonight's show. Uh, so yeah, forty four ninety nine, forty five pound for the Mark Three coach is pretty much the same all across the board. Uh, Oxford Mark Threes was thirty five. I think that's right. Actually, the Oxford Mark Threes were thirty five. So it's 10 or more for the Hornby retooled Mark Threes. Plenty of them to go with the HSTs. But when you think about what it all mounts up to a very ex excuse me, very expensive, especially if you want to go for a maybe a 11 car set or a nine car set. Uh, departmental, that one's quite an interesting one because I know the departmental stock was a quite um, a rare stock. So for him to be focusing on departmental stuff now at, at, at a reasonably lowish price. Good evening, Route 7 Railway, Steve. Thanks for joining in. Wardle, I think Hornby have got OTT with the Coca-Cola stuff, but probably part of the deal. Yeah, I think that as well, actually. They have got a bit OTT. There is a couple I like, but um, there's a couple that I'm like, yeah, I think they have got a bit OTT on the, on the stuff. Got the Coronation Scott Stanya stuff. Again, more departmental stuff. What are your thoughts? Do, is anyone do, do you like the departmental stuff? I do. Um, again, obviously, you're getting the Coronation stuff. Oh. A new DRS coach. Did not know that. But that's gone up. They were that. That's a ten, at least a ten pound increase on a product that they released in the twenty twenty one range. Am I not wrong? They were thirty four ninety nine on the Hornby website in the twenty twenty one range, so they've gone up ten pound just for that coach. Hmm, that's an interesting point. Um, and looking at this, actually, there's four. Now, there was only three originally. So there's another four, five, I can't remember which ones I've got. Five, eight, one, oh, six, double, oh, eight, six, double, oh, one, 59, 11. There's four extra DRS coaches. Uh, now I have the Mark 1 Brake Force coach pre-ordered last year during the 2021 range when it was 34.99. Now it's 49. Oh, yes, I was right. Coca-Cola on a train, is that a real thing? You're going to see it. It was. There is a Coca-Cola. I think it's a Class 31. So far, yes, but a bit, bit annoyed how they've bumped the price up £10 in just 12 months. Uh, in fact, there's another one. So that's five. So I, I, I may have I've got, already got three, so these might be repeats of three from last year as well. Hmm. Caledonian sleepers come through crew a lot. Um, LNER trailers, yeah. Well, this is the prices are creeping quite a bit. I'm not even going to look. Not, not even. Not even. Maybe it's a typo. I wish. <laughs> I wish. 
uh scrolling through that's quite nice the sharp ballast plow quite like that but for a, for a, a brake van 42 42 49 for a brake van mm. let me know your thoughts all the all oh right some more of that all new coaches interesting Especially our DRS today announced that they're selling off all that, the, the, the remainder of pretty much of their 37s and 57 fleets. Does that mean I've got to sell off my fleet? <laughs> so, yeah, there we go with the coaches. Um, anyone out of this lot, don't look finishing at the APT coaches. No, don't. Two coaches for £110, say. <laughs> I like that one, XMG12. Maybe someone didn't quite understand when they were asked to design a new Coke wagon. <laughs> yeah, let's get on. I, I need to get, because there's some stuff missing um, highlighting that, because I have seen the Coca-Cola train. Leicester Station TMD, Gary, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Now then. I get those every year, the Christmas wagons. I get them as a gift every year. I've got the collection uh, dating back from 2015 so far. Um, that's creeped up a little bit. I think they were 90. I think they've got up a pound, maybe two pounds in the last 12 months. Uh, maybe one pound 50, actually. I think they were 1949. Um, but then moving on with the other novelties you've got the santa's present wagon now i do have the santa collection something to go with the santa collection quite good and then we've got the 50th anniversary of hornby railways um you notice how it's yeah it's got the triangle delivery 2099 mm. now this one i do like but i thought that was a bit silly on the price it's the uh Christmas tree carrier. Let's wait for that to come up. Quite like this, the Christmas tree carrier. It's quite unique. Bit of a bolster wagon with uh, Christmas trees on it. Whether it's one or two, I'm not sure. Again, probably the old Lima tooling. But 30 quid, just under. Mm. Bit questionable. Um, Ewan's getting off. Thanks, Ewan, for joining us. Take care. I'll go back to the main page in a moment. I'll have to refresh the page again. So go back to that one. So, yeah, refresh. I just decide to. All right, here we go. So, yeah, I'm going to stop doing that. 2022 box fan. 21.99 roadshow wagon it's hopefully they said to be returning seven pound 49 me that's probably one of the best value wagons on this set seven pound for a wagon not bad at all i don't think and it's a novelty one i do like my novelty wagons you see it's something that you uh, guys and girls do i'm going to stick christmas trees in my new revolution wagons you could buy a batman a low loader and real tree for that price <laughs> yeah. Uh, Beatles stock, obviously, they've sold well, so they're continuing on with the Beatles stock. Does it is of interest to me, but you really got to be wanting to fly, uh, roll with it, <laughs> roll with it, it's Beatles track. Um, to be, we wanting some of the Beatles stuff. I know the wife does like the Beatles stuff. Um, Oh, and there we go. There it is. The Lomac Coca-Cola bottle wagon. 20, 25.49 for a low loader with a small bottle of Coke on it. How much has that licensing cost just to have that bottle on? Because I bet that low loader in itself is probably worth about six or seven pound, maybe eight pound. About as much as that. Uh, about as much as the uh, road show wagon 
the price is in the product it's in that that's what you're paying for that you're not paying for that in my opinion you're paying for that i think it's ridiculous at least if they were going to do that you'd think they'd put a it's not a real size is it it's not to scale it's not a 1 in 76 scale bottle otherwise you'd never see it on there if they were going to put a large bottle on it you'd think they'd at least have a bottle that would fill the wagon 25.99 robbery in my opinion there you go in fact what will say that glow loader can be bought five quid second hand yeah it's old tooling and it's out there as the as second hand stock probably yeah five quid so you're paying like 20 quid just for that little plastic bottle on the top you can easily make 3d print your own job done but it'll cost about what 10 pence to 3d print that ridiculous uh more coach packs again remember they are coach packs uh utility vehicle again another one yeah something for timber get some 3d printing done and do a generic bottle on a low loader and start selling them off uh that the coca-cola six wheel tanker now i've just got the four wheel version of that um but i i didn't pay that i paid half less than half that for the four wheeled one so don't know uh father's day wagon i think that's a bit of a shame because uh father's day wagon getting for exactly the same thing a bit of text in a different color price is going up it's a bit silly uh east midlands coaches to go with your hst sets again i don't know why these coaches are here we've gone through coaches already it's supposed to be wagons so skip through lms con container service hmm uh departmental lms cct van quite nice old tooling again it's old lima tooling 30 quid nearly hmm is it worth it is it worth it we're skimming through what how 39 pound for that i got two of them and i paid four pound for them second hand 39 pound for a low loading wagon that is just absolutely daft absolutely daft Tell me, tell me your thoughts, please, everybody. I really would love, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Obviously, a lot of people are cheaper with the coat bottle on it. Yeah, actually. Yeah, they should give the coat stuff away for free because you're doing their advertising. Yeah. Yeah, that's a point because then, obviously, when we do videos of our products, we're promoting coat ourselves. So, yeah um yeah in fact spark, spark shop we're going to go back to that so that wagon there gwr 38.99 yeah but the coke one which is overpriced in itself we can get back to it um uh, that was where is it now it's somewhere here 25.49 so if you're wanting one of them just buy if you buy that and chuck, chuck the coat bottle away and you've got one for what 13 pound cheaper <laughs> daft isn't it right where were we uh there we are so diabolical prices says digger Jeff is saying he's lost for words. Yes, it is. You're quite right. Uh, Sparkshot saying it's the same low loader tool. Yeah, it is. 
Is there anybody in the chat that thinks the prices are good? I don't think there is. Up to now, pricing-wise, I've seen myself, I've seen one product which is probably worth the price. Out of how many, I don't know, hundreds of products that they've announced, I've seen one that's probably worth the value of the the price ticket and bearing in mind this is hornby's prices so you get a 10 15 discount by the retailer but i've um i've not even got to see all of this until today <laughs> hornby are inspired by batman's prices um it's just just phenomenal um I know somebody who's got something to say about those uh, very soon. And I will mention it's about twenty five forty nine for one, seventy five pound plus if you want in three. In fact, there you go, seventy two. There they are. Those twenty five pound a piece. Those were available by Hornby at a very exceptionally cheap price not so long ago. But look what they're charging for three. 73 pounds. 73 pounds. Just just horrendous. That's a huge, huge jump to something that uh, the, tw the twin vent van for 20 isn't bad. Yeah, I'll give you that. It's just shocking. Shocking indeed. What is going to happen to the hobby? And to me, I think, and I've said this, that the hobby is slowly stagnating with its pricing. It's killing, they're going to kill themselves. Yeah, the problem is now, they're all going to be going to be, let's bring that to Howard's comment up. Um, the problem is now we're all going to look for the used market and then those prices are going to go up through the roof because basically more people are buying the used used products. Yeah, I agree. It will have a knock-on effect. And I think a lot of the, I think the manufacturers, in some way, they actually do that on purpose. Um, I've just... <laughs> oh, yeah, I like that. Where is it now? Sorry, I've just missed it. Where is it? Uh, Brian asked, "Is anyone agreeing on the the prices?" And uh, where is it? Uh, I've just seen it. Where's it gone? And so Stevens replied, "Only if Simon is watching." <laughs> right. So before we crack on, because I'm I, I've this, I've got to find something um, because I mentioned about Coca Cola Loco. Yeah, they are in there, but for some reason they're not showing up. But I'll have a look for them anyway. So I think while we do that, so I'll just bring that off the screen. It is time for our third and final shout out. And the third and final shout out for tonight on this YouTube Tuesday show um, is going to a, a channel that I've recently come across. And I don't know why I've not come across it for, um, before. It's been going quite some time and it does deserve some of your viewing. And I, uh, I, I shared this layout with um, Flymo earlier today. And he was like, wow, don't know, I've missed that one. It's a good layout. It's an absolutely fantastic layout, actually. And it deserves some recognition from you YouTubers out there to go and check it out. So tonight's the third shout out is going to a, a channel with a layout, a channel and layout called Yorkshire Junction. So if you like your Yorkshire tea, it's the channel for thee. Uh, yes, Yorkshire Junction is the third and final shout out for tonight. Uh, please do go check it out. Um, I'm just briefly going to click on it because I want to just monitor uh, its channel numbers. Um, so at this moment, it's sitting on 420 subscribers. Um, Let's see if we can just bring up its about section. I'm not sure whether I can. Yeah, I can. Uh, Yorkshire Junction is a model railway loft layout to fulfill a bo boyhood dream, doing it on a budget, which is very difficult these days, learning from mistakes and learning as I go along, having fun. That's the top thing to do is have fun. Top tips as I pro 
as my progress is documented. Ormby, Batman, Lima, Intercity, HST, Steam, and all related will be there. So the channel was created September 2020, so it's, what, 18 months old now? Uh, 420 subscribers previously shown to me. So, yeah, it does deserve uh, to be have a, a look at from yourselves. Um, I'll come back to that in a moment to see how you're doing. So, yeah, Yorkshire Junction, definitely worth checking out. Remember, if you do check out any channels that are mentioned as a subscription today, um, please do. If you like what you see, subscribe and interact with that channel. Comment on the latest video saying you heard about them here today on the YouTube Tuesday from Barnum's Junction. And that's why you're coming over and commenting and subscribing. Um, definitely worth checking out. I will... Hope to see you in some of the chats and comments of his videos in the future. March West Junction just subscribed, he says. Top marks, Mark. March West, thank you very much. Uh, just looking now at other comments. Um, let's have a look. It's, uh, Tatsu Viper, welcome to tonight. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's bring up uh jason what was your thought what was it that you thought was a reasonable price it was the seven pound 49 the roadshow wagon seven pound 49 thought that was all right actually considering that's the hornby pricing um so great stuff um i'm getting messages i'll go back to those in a bit uh train street saying there are some american coaches that were 40 US dollars over 15 years ago, now selling for over 100 US dollars on eBay as either used or new old stock. Um, my HSD I first bought was £125, says Tatsu. Um, then £200. It just shows the pricing difference is just massive, isn't it? Compared. Um, what's this now? Hobby Magazine on Facebook wants to hear your thoughts about the 2022 range in the comments on their Facebook page. Yeah, make sure you bob over there. Tell tell them everyone how we are uh, not happy with the prices. I've got old locos from four pound fifty to five pound in the boxes. Says MXG. Fantastic. Um. Yes, uh, Stephen, I agree. Yeah, that could be uh, one of the things, but definitely forgetting on quality. Yes, Alan, another loft dweller. Check it out. <clears throat> Just keeping up on the chat. Jason, have you heard the TPE coaches will be ready? Or TFE coaches will be ready? Uh, that's from Kevin Newbury. Have you heard when the T? TPE coaches will, is, I take it will be, will be ready. That will be the ones from Acura Scale. I believe they're quarter four of this year now. Um, that was from last time I heard, quarter four of this year. I know it's been delayed, pushed back a few, but we've got to give them the benefit of the doubt with what's happened in the world recently. So it's delayed production a bit. Um, they were on course to be releasing at their original date, but obviously things got put back a bit due to the current situation. Right, so let's, um, I'm going to bring back up the range. Now, um, I'm just going to refresh it because I want to know why I can't find some of the stuff that's showing on this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some particular searches. So we're going to actually do a search for Coca-Cola because I know, I know there is more than what we've seen here today. Okay. Yes, so I've got the tanker. I've got that. I've got the original set. Um, where is the rest of the Coca-Cola stuff? Or has it been removed? That is the question. I saw it yesterday. Oh. Now then, see, there's something I didn't see. We didn't see a Coca-Cola branded tram. In HO scale, hmm, 178.49. That wasn't showing. That's on a summer release. Uh, 
Oh, right, so 178.49, that'll be DCC ready. Or you can get it DCC fitted for 279, 217.49. There's the box I've got. Suitable for adult collectors. Yeah, I've got that. Right, I didn't pay that. I paid half of that for mine. Um, but still, it's not showing the Class 31 in the, in the Coca-Cola livery. Where's that gone? Right, while we're just looking at that, I'm going to Google because Coca, where's it gone? I saw it yesterday on the Hornby website. It's vanished. Yes, it has. It's vanished. Interesting. It's not showing. It was there yesterday because I was even talking about it to the to the wife. Where's that gone? Why have they taken that off? That is interesting. So I caught the Coca Cola liveried class thirty one. I'm sure it's class thirty one. Has disappeared off the Hornby website. Interesting. Why is that, I wonder? No problem, Howard. Thank you for joining us. Been great to see so many of you in the chat in, in here tonight. Um, obviously, also in the range, we've got uh, the, the all new play trains, which, yeah, not obviously it's aimed at the, the kids. But has anyone really thought that that is just an? Uh, a motorized brio set what do you think i think it just looks like the motorized brio set um hogwarts is that right this time have they got the right locomotive so where is that 31 i'm interested i'm interested in why that's missing and yes the apt something to be are you sure they were RTC class 31? No. Yeah, that's another thing. Actually, the RTC is missing. That's another one. The RTC 31, 31 was missing. So why are they not showing up in the collection? It was with that. It was actually next. Those two were next to each other uh, in the cattle in the 2022 range. Why are they not showing up now? I wonder if they've removed stuff since yesterday. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a look. Website's being slow. Why pay ten pound nine for a catalogue that you can review online? Right. Okay. So let's put these in name. Okay. We're going to search the entire thing and we'll search it in name. So it's going to look for numbers first. So we'll have to bear with us. We've got to get to, it's going to be on the um, more than like, see, even though the APT stuff didn't show, the full APT stuff didn't show. And I know we've not skipped through it when we've been getting, trying to get through this stuff quite fast. Um, so there's Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Coca Cola. Where's the 31? And where's the RTC 31? I know someone's just put um, R30197. Right, okay. Yeah, the departmental RTC 31 is there. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, actually, yeah, the Greater Angler stuff wasn't appearing either. Um, do quite like that, the bi-mode flirt trains. Interesting price, but very nice. So we're going through this now. This is the entire collection, minus the categories. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. 
until we find it. Another thing that didn't show up was the Luma 800. And in fact, we haven't even come across the, the, the TPE one, which is uh, totally going to be off the radar now for me. That's all the play train stuff. There's the RTC one, right. See, that that wasn't showing before. Where is the Coca-Cola one? I was laughing at it yesterday. And I thought, no way. I thought to me, then, that is what something I was after, but not at that price, that's for sure. Um, I was really excited when I first saw, heard about that being renounced to be released. Obviously, they, they didn't show any uh, production models. They just showed that picture. They're showing a picture. And they're not showing anything to me. Spring 2022. That's due for a release now. So why haven't they got a picture? I don't think anyone's going to see that in spring 2022. And more likely, that should say spring 2023, I think. The Beatles train pack. Damn, that's not bad, actually, for the price. I'll, I'll agree on that. For a train pack, all Beatles stuff, not bad. Still still high, but not bad. Uh, so we're going through the buildings. Now, that's everything, apparently. Now, the stuff missing from there that we saw earlier, it's not showing everything in that, and that apparently is the entire collection. So, yeah, there's definitely stuff missing on the website compared to what was shown in the full announcement. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up, um, hopefully I can do this. Um, I'm just going to bring up Hornby's announcement video um, because it was shown on there. It was shown on it. So I'll turn the sound off. Right. That's when they were showing all the Coca-Cola light stuff. So the live steam stuff, really for the big enthusiasts as well. That's something uh, not not really picked up on. Um, right, we're getting to it now. Yeah, license collectibles. The Beatles stuff, yeah. See, that's that's quite nice. I like that Beatles collector. All right, there's the bottle. I saw it. I'm just going to leave that on there until it comes up on my screen. But, yeah, let me take that off. So, yeah, that's the overall. Um, my opinions, what do you think about it? Um, let us know. Um, again, the TPE 802, even at 452 after discount, is still hard to swallow for that pack. Yeah, it is. The sexy snake, as it's uh, commonly known as out there. Um, it was definitely going to be something that I was really interested in. Um, but looking at that price, it's definitely, I would say, more beneficial to go for the uh, the the cure scale set that is more on the, the the financial front on it all but we'll have to wait and see we'll have to see what happens see what developments happen to Dornby decide to drop their prices a little bit or do they basically just people out there because they can they're there they go out and buy them we'll have to wait and see right so it's 138 an hour and 38 into the stream and we've still got modelers moment that is coming up right now so Let's get on with it. If you want to be on Modeler's Moment, I'll give you details of it in a moment. So, Modeler's Moment. This is the part where you, the modeler, get a featured place on the show by sending in information videos or photographs of your modeling creations layouts whatever it is you do in your modeling um enjoyment 
It might not necessarily be a model railway. It might be a, a diorama of a scene where it features a, a railway. So anything like that, you can get in touch with me, BarnabasJunction at gmail.com, and you can be featured a modeler's moment each week on this show. And tonight we're going over the ponds for tonight for the modeler's moment. And I've got sent, I've, I've been sent in a huge amount of photographs for you to have a brief look through. Um, Flymo, fire away with the link for tonight's modeler's moment then. And it is indeed Jason the Train Freak and his layout, which is called Delta Pines Subdivision. So he sent me a huge amount of photographs and I've crammed in as many as I can into a small slideshow for you all to have a look at. But if you like your American trains, you like the American scenery, because I think the scenery is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's just so much to look at and so much to talk about. I am 100% going to miss out. That, that, that pen and everything with that backdrop looks just brilliant. Um, take a look at these. Enjoy what you see because this is only a small section of this layout, isn't it, Jason? Um, but it's got so much detail, so much work on it has gone into it. It's just absolutely brilliant. And here's the wife just dropping in, everyone saying hello to her. Says, and Ben WJ Addy, hello. Thank you for joining us. Um, Jeff is off. Thank you very much, Jeff. Take care. See you soon. Wow, well, 40 minutes watching stuff nobody can afford. Totally agree on that one. Hell down, Model Railway. Hi, all. You joining us? You were the first shout out of the show today. Uh, so, yes, Train Freak. Thank you very much for sending in these fantastic photographs. I've been really, really analyzing some of this for, for the photographs at the scenery. As you know, I'm quite. I love scenery at the moment. I'm a big fan of it. Um, and I've really enjoyed looking at these photographs and just the contours of the, the landscaping, the trees. The, the, I know you've got it blended in with your background, Jason. It's just, just look at the, the scene there. I, I love that scene. Obviously, a lot of work ongoing. And this layout is just going to be phenomenal as it progresses. Um, Jason, if you could just tell us what sort of spacing is that scenic area that you've just been working on cover and overall what does the the, the layout size to give us an idea of what's still yet to be done rice land containers uh store will be grain containers i presume um that layout is just brilliant the scenery and obviously i've just that i've to get as many photographs as i can into the model's moment i've had to just get them through as quickly as possible but if you get the opportunity and you want to see those, then go over to Train Freak channel. Um, he is definitely a channel to check out. Um, he does a lot of great videos, and I'm, I'm sure many of you probably are. Even if you're not interested in American railroad uh, railroads and rolling stock and stuff like that, it's a definitely a channel if you want to know about scenery. He's just you've seen it for yourself you know that the scenery is good if you want to know how to do things like that then go over and check out his channel the layout is still in build phase uh, let's bring that up on the screen still in build phase but it will be wrapped around a 20 is that meter or foot 20 the bench work is only 24 inches deep so it's 20 foot by 24 Foot. Wow. Good evening to Plymouth. To Leeds on a X cross country HST. Hi, all. I have some model GWR attaches. Has anyone noticed the pinstripe on the side of the coaches are slightly higher than the ones found on the real H attaches? No, I hadn't. Um, if anyone can respond to that, then please do so. 20 feet. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Cheers, Jason. Um, 20 feet, yes, yes, uh, yes, Rachel. Everyone's having a chat with Rachel. I'll just shut up there, shall I? 
I'll just I'll just be quiet here and while everyone just talks to Rach because as soon as Rach comes on, everyone talks to her and doesn't even listen to talk to me. <laughs> so, so again, uh, for the last few minutes of the show, I'm going to put in the stream link. If anyone wants to come and join us and have, let me know what you think about the 2022 Hornby range, and please do drop in there, drop in, come and have a chat with me for 10, 15 minutes. Um, and we'll let us know your opinions live on the stream. Um, getting messages galore coming through here. I'm just going to check what that one is. Ah, good man, good man. Someone's sending some pictures in for Modeler's Moments. So that's good. We, I can guarantee you now with uh, what's just come in, uh, we've got, good, got some good Modeler's Moments for the next couple of weeks. Right. One final thing then to tell you about. Now, this is obviously the first YouTube Tuesday of 2022. It's the continuation of series uh, five, which was put on pause straight after the, just straight, just before Christmas period. If you watched it, it's episode seven, which was on the 22nd of December, something like that, uh, the final one before Christmas, I launched a competition for three prizes for giveaways. There's an N-Gage prize, there's a double O-Gage, prize and there's an o gauge prize prize is um going to be up for grabs i launched that competition on that i think people were a bit confused about what you've got to do um and i did only have a few entries and now i did say the competition was going to close on midnight new year's eve i've now extended that i'm going to run it up to the 31st of january so you get an extra month to get your entries in so again i'll repeat what you've got to do so all you've got to do is go back, or you may already know, over from episode one to episode six. So one to six. I want to know who featured on each of the modelers' moments in those six episodes. That's all you got to do. And then what you then got to do is email in your answers to BarnabasJunction at gmail.com. Comment in that email also that what prize, scale prize you want to um, put, go into the draw to win. And that's it. Simple as that. I will say there is a bit of a Trojan horse in one of those modelers' moments. Well, I'll leave that one for you to find out. So the six episodes, I want to know who's who featured modeler's moment in episodes one to six of series five this series so they were all just before christmas that's all you got to do let me know get your entries in it will now close on the third midnight of the 31st of january this year 2022 and i will draw it on the first of february which is tuesday so it closes monday midnight monday the 31st of january and the prizes will be drawn on the show on the 1st of February. So get your entries in to me via email, barnabasjunction at gmail.com. Simple as that. Uh, Flymo says, I'm not in the competition. House rules. <laughs> yes, yeah, because we've been discussing. <laughs> <coughs> but it's his thing, in it? Uh, did you announce the winners of the Christmas? There we go, darling, bro. I've just mentioned that. It's been extended till the 31st, but no, not been done yet because I've extended it. So give plenty of chance for plenty more people to get your entries in. Well, that's about it for tonight. Thank you all. I know it's just been a brief look at the 2022 range, but if you want to go into further details, get over to the Hornby Magazine Facebook page and let them know your thoughts on this range as well. I'm sure there will be a few cursed words to them. Um, <laughs> one of the MM was tough to find out of the six episodes. Yes, one of them is a bit tough because one's a bit of a Trojan horse, a bit of a trick to see if you are really listening and watching. But we'll have to wait and see on your answers. So thank you to everybody that's already sent in your answers. Good luck to everybody that does send in answers in and gets all of them correct. Prices are bleep rubbish. <laughs> uh, I hit post as you started talking about it. Well done. Well done, Richard. 
But yes, that's it then. Get your entries into that competition. Um, get you, If you want to be on Modeler's Moment, get the, your Modeler's Moments request sent in also. Same email address, barnabasjunction at gmail.com. And that will do for tonight. Thank you very much to everybody that has subscribed tonight or to any shout out channels or even this channel and anybody else's channel that you've come to enjoy while you've been here on the show. Um, until next week, I wish you well. Uh, you take care of yourselves very, very much. Thank you for joining me for the past two hours. But until next time, stay safe, stay well. And the most important thing is keep on modeling. You all take care with yourselves out there. I'll see you next week. Ta-ra from me.